Hi kids, let's go over our activity papers for this week, Pentecost Sunday. The first one is called Hidden Tools. And this is gonna be a little tricky. You're gonna take the words that are here and you're going to unscramble them. Uh, and then you're gonna put them in the white boxes. And then the letter that falls in the orange box will give a keyword, sort of like working in code. Another paper that's gonna require some research on your part, if your parents will let you use their computer and you can go online and do a little research. First of all, it's gonna, it has you practicing how to say Jesus in various other languages. Now, in our lesson today, I mentioned um, a message that was in Dutch. For example, Jesus loves you. In Dutch is Jesus Houtvenja. Jesus Houtvenja. And the Jesus is how you say Jesus in Dutch. Um, the other one I mentioned was Jezus Tia Miluje. That means Jesus loves you in Czech. Jezus is how they say it. Every language says Jesus a little different. And um, Jesus in Spanish um, and other languages. So if you can find uh, on the, your computer uh, a translator that will give you the sound, you can click on the little sound thing and it will tell you how it's supposed to sound in another language. It sometimes is kind of hard to guess. So if you have access to a computer, you can hear how those names sound in whatever language. And then down here it says, if people began persecuting Christians in our country and you had to flee for safety, what country would you run to? Go online and find out some research on this on a country. So this gives you a chance to do some online research about other countries. You know, there's another uh, great resource. If you have access to a computer, you can go to YouTube and go to Global Missionaries UPCI. YouTube and Global Missionaries UPCI. And when you get on that channel, the Global Missionaries channel, you're gonna see all kinds of interesting videos from missionaries all around the world. And you know, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We sponsor missionaries who have Bible schools in their country to teach the local people to, to preach the word and teach the word in their language. How can we go into all the world and preach the gospel in every language without help? And we need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost gives us the ability to be able to help, sometimes gives us the language, but sometimes we have to help somebody else to preach in their language. So whatever way we can, through the Holy Ghost or through a missionary or however, we need to get the gospel around the world obeying this, what Jesus said to do. And then on the, uh, there's another page. It says, love and joy in the gospel. And there's all these great scriptures that you can look up in your Bible and then fill in the blank with one of these words that would fill in that blank right there. That's, that's a lot of fun. And it has you looking in your Bible for various scriptures. I've got a couple other great um, activities for you this week. And one of them is a little mini book about the day of Pentecost that you can color, cut out, and um, actually it has four pages, so you'd cut each page separately and put them in order and makes a, a little mini book about the day of Pentecost and what happened on that day, that, that one birthday that we talked about, the second of the two birthdays. So that's kind of fun. And this is also um, a fun activity that I'm sending you that um, we talked about how sometimes be, talking in a foreign language is like talking in code. Well, sometimes you can color in code too. And so this is an activity that has you selecting four colors, four of your favorite colors, one, two, three, and four. And then it's a color by number. And there's a message that will come out in the flames when you color in the colors. It tells you which color to use in each space. You pick the four colors, but then color one, two, three, four. Just follow the directions and you can color it and see what the, what the words are that come out of the flame. I hope you enjoy those activities. And this week, remember that the promise is unto you. Jesus gave this promise of the Holy Ghost. It's for you. I love you, and I hope you have a great week. God bless you.
Bye.